Hey guys, welcome to my side project, Quinian's Blender Crafts. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that you have a base understanding of how to use Blender and how to model in general. Mostly this little miniature video series, we're going to be building this wall right here. But I'm going to break it up into little sections so that I can mention individual things that are important for modeling for 3D printing. So the first thing we'll tackle here is internal geometry. So for this wall here, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Just go ahead and enable wall factory or extra meshes, I think it is. It'll be down here in extras and wall factory. And it's on the wrong axis, but that's okay. So look, a wall it's like that, just magic. But you can mess with all the things in here until you get something you like, depending on what it is you're after. I'll do that real quick, and then I'll come back to the geometry part. One more thing real quick here. I just wanted to point out, once you get your wall looking kind of how you want, but you maybe want to cycle through some of the block setups without really changing too much of these sliders, you can just keep clicking this Merge Blocks button, and it'll keep changing the pattern every time you do that. So just keep scrolling through until you find something you like, but don't click too fast because you can't go back and get the one you saw that you're like, oh, that was cool. So find one you like slowly and then stick with that. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with uh, what we have going on here. But as you can see, there's um, there's no internal geometry right now because you can see straight through it. Obviously, that's not going to print because all of these little things would try to print independently. But we can cheat on how these interact with each other. Let's go to edit mode and hit alt s to scale along the face normals and just make everything a little bit chunkier. There you go, now all of the blocks are overlapping. You can see the overlapping faces right there, and you don't really want that. So if we go to x-ray mode here, we can see that there's a ton of internal geometry in here. And, um, I mean, could you get away with printing something that, you know, has geometry like that? Probably most of the time, but, uh, probably don't do it. So how do we get rid of all this internal geometry? Well, first off, we need all of these bricks to be separate pieces. So while you're in edit mode, go ahead and hit P, and then separate them by loose parts. So anything that's not connected will now be separated into this massive list of all these different bricks here. So now that all of these are separated, I just want to go ahead and bevel all of the edges just a little bit. So I'll go ahead and go to edit mode with all of them selected, hit A, Control B, give it a slight bevel. Just enough that you can tell that they're different bricks. Now we can tab out of that and hit Shift Control Plus, and it should join all of them if you have Bool Tool enabled. There we go. It just merged the whole block into one one thing, all these different blocks into one big block. I go to X-ray mode here. Looks like most of the geometry has been cleared out. Sometimes some of it stays. This is looking pretty clear though. I don't really like x-ray mode because of all the extra lines and stuff. I can't really tell what I'm looking at. So like right here we got a row that didn't quite uh, didn't quite go away. That's alright, we'll fix that in just a second. Just go through and check, make sure there's nothing hiding out inside here. There is one right there. Sometimes what causes that is the blocks aren't actually overlapping right there, and that's what caused your uh, bridging to happen. You could undo the boolean and then adjust the position of the block and try it again, or you could just cut this thing off and seal it up, which is what I'm going to do. Let's go in here, grab a couple of these faces, delete the faces, Then we can grab these vertices, those ones can be merged. Grab all the vertices around this edge, should select, there we go. And you can just go ahead and merge them at center. It'll disappear, you won't notice it. You can go on the outside and look if you're worried about it. It's, it's way in this thing, so you won't see that. Oh, that was the wrong one. There we go. It's right there. So you're not going to see that. Do the same thing to the other side. We can use L to loop select this one that's hanging out in the middle and just delete it. 
So that goes in there pretty far. You can adjust these things by hand if you want to. It's not really necessary. So while you're going through deleting faces, keep an eye out for things like this right here where this line suddenly comes up and goes across right along the edge. If you move your view around, you can see there's a little lip there. It's because you've got extra faces right here. So those are some you're going to want to delete. All right, there we go. Now we don't have any more um, internal geometry to screw up and slow down your printer. The problem with that is, if you look at the face normals here, whatever direction the blue line is pointing, that's what the slicer considers to be the outside of the model. So when you have a whole bunch of faces on the inside, the slicer can, and often does, especially if it's Cura, get very confused as to what exactly it's supposed to be telling the printer to do. So it doesn't know what's the inside and what's the outside all the time. And you can end up with some really bizarre slicing errors. If nothing else, even if it does slice correctly, it's not able to just fill the inside with quick, easy to do infill. It's got to stop, slow down, print all the little individual walls and faces inside there. So it's best to clean it out. But now that you've gone through and chopped all kind of parts off your model and put new faces in and done all kind of stuff like that, you probably have some errors in here. So we'll fix that on the next one. Hopefully this didn't run too long. We'll pick up what to do after this on the next video. Catch you guys in the next one.